Hi there, this is Corey Landis once again speaking on behalf of Michael McCown and Ghostwriter Central. So today I, speaking in the voice of Michael, spoke with a potential client who has a fictional story he wanted to turn into a novel and a screenplay. And he and I chatted for a little while, just being friendly and getting to know one another. And when our long call was over, I notified two writers to call the client in the morning and to talk with him about their parts of his project. So one of the writers was novelist Charlene Keel. And we hadn't spoken in a while and, and spent a good half hour on the phone. And our conversation got into client problems that we had to deal with over the years, none of which I'm sure would apply to today's gentleman. She told me a story about one guy for whom she wrote most of a manuscript and he still owed her for the final payment on her work. Now that payment was due before she completed the final two chapters and he had already taken possession of the earlier chapters and was delighted with her work. And she said he told her he could finish the novel on his own. No further help is required by you. Thank you very much. And of course, I'm not paying you anymore. And with that, her client walked away. It was when he tried writing those final two chapters that he realized that he didn't have the necessary skill after all. He, he wrote, thought he was finished, he submitted the work and got immediate rejections. And not long after that, he came back to Charlene, of course, suitably chastened, and apologized for his boorish behavior and asked her to complete his novel and paid her for it. And then he found a publisher. Excellent. It's always nice when conflicts end that way. Now, my story didn't have such a wonderful, warm ending, unfortunately. Some 14 years ago, the co-founder of Ghost Writers Central came to me with a client problem. Uh, he'd been working with a man uh, who uh, had accepted the final work on whatever the project was. Sorry, but I no longer recall whether it was a book or what. But this client had uh, just told my then partner that he loved the job we'd done, but had no intention of honoring the final payment that he owed us. My partner called me up and was worried sick about how we were going to get paid. Now, one of my skill sets is SEO. That is search engine optimization. I'm one of those guys who knows how to get a web page to rank high in response to search queries, right? You tell that guy he either pays us what he owes us and immediately, or I will make sure that everyone who Googles his name finds out that he is a liar and a thief. Make sure he understands we're not going to lie, but I will simply tell the whole true story of how he tried to screw us. Call the man and tell him, I said. The truth is always a good defense. He made the call. The client was like, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> I created a web page, told the story, and coded that page in such a way that anyone who searched for his name, you know, family, friends, business associates, would discover his evil deed. And it took several weeks before Google indexed the page, but one day, there it was ranked in the top five results for a search for that client's name. So suddenly the guy is on the phone to my partner begging us to take it down. My partner told him we'd take it down as soon as we received payment, which was immediately forthcoming. When the money reached the bank, I removed the page, but Google can be slow to de-index web pages. And he called several times to whine about the page listing and description still being up and the supposed damage it was going to have on his reputation. Our response was, hey, we warned you. We told you what we would do if you did not honor your obligation. The whining continued for weeks and ended when no doubt to his massive relief. Google realized the page had gone away and took down the search engine entry for it. We here prefer a nice, easy, honest relationship with our clients. But if you can't write 
and you need a rider to handle your project, treat them with the respect that they deserve. And if you're going to try to maliciously screw your rider, well, be aware that some of us know other uses for a Louisville slugger than Tanaka stuffed stitched cowhide spheroid over the center field wall. That's all I'm saying. Once again, thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time at Ghost Riders Central.